Does the Galaxy S22 Ultra suffer from the same problem as the Galaxy S21 Ultra, which is the ability to fool the camera with a still image? Let's find out in this test. Facial recognition on the Galaxy S21 Ultra was not secure and could be fooled with a still image. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? It's unlocked. Keep in mind that the Galaxy S22 Ultra can also be fooled, much like its predecessor. The obvious answer to this question is the Galaxy S22 Ultra cannot solve the problem through software updates because this is a hardware issue. As a matter of fact, I'm recording with the Galaxy S22 Ultra's front camera right now and as you can see, there is no depth sensor right here, just like what you find on the iPhone. So the iPhone has a depth sensor. As a matter of fact, let me show you. So wait a minute, let me turn it off. You see that? You see that light right there? That's the infrared sensor on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And now let me show you that this thing does not exist on the Galaxy S22 Ultra or the Galaxy S21 Ultra or any of the Galaxy phones for that matter. So you can see that the Galaxy S22 Ultra does not have an infrared sensor like the iPhone does, which means that this issue is basically hardware related. Mm -hmm. I would say that the Galaxy devices are not as secure as the iPhone devices in terms of facial recognition. With that being said, there's a caveat to this. Facial recognition on the Galaxy devices may not be as secure, but remember that it took me a lot of trial and error, a lot of tries and experimentation to be able to pull this off. And I don't think the regular person can be able to do something like this. I mean, it took me a lot of time to figure out the, the distance that you need, the image, the correct image size, the format, by the way, it doesn't work with regular photos. That's why I try to simulate this as much as possible with an iPad because it gives off light. It doesn't work with regular photos. Even if you try to print a full-size photo of your face, it's not gonna work. You're gonna have to use something with a, with a backlight source, like an iPad, and that's why it's not gonna work for the regular person. So, with that being said, you can still use the facial recognition on your Galaxy device if you don't have something that is extremely privacy sensitive. And I don't think somebody can easily get into your phone like that. I mean, it's not that simple. But I'm just saying that the Galaxy devices can still be unlocked with a picture. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you really like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell icon to get more videos like this in the future. Thanks guys, and I'll see you next time.